Today, I can announce a package to speed up our economic recovery while setting us up to address long-term challenges. First, today, I can announce that New Zealand fully reopens to the world by July 31, completing our reconnecting work two months ahead of schedule. In a few days' time, on the 16th of May, visitor visas from the Pacific Islands will open online. Then from the 4th of July, all work visa categories, including the new accredited employer work visa, will open for application. A few weeks later, on the 31st of July, student and visitor visas from the rest of the world will reopen and international education returns. Cruise ships will return too, with the maritime border reopening on the 31st of July. Now that we have dates, I understand that the next question naturally is whether all of our border settings, including pre-departure testing, will remain in place. As we begin the consultation on our variant plan, it's clear that monitoring at the border will continue to be important, but we will be able to change up the role that pre-departure testing has played. Now, while we're still working through this transition, it's fair to say we are confident pre-departure testing will be removed by the time we come to the final phase of our reopening in July. Overall, these announcements mean we have brought forward our complete reopening by two months, and we're giving enough time for our cruise ship industry to prepare for the next big season starting in October. I know this will be welcome news, and it's a phase we are ready for.